I'm going to talk about Stephen Hawking's life. Stephen Hawking is a cosmologist, theoretical physicist, and a mathematics professor at the University of Cambridge. He was born on January 8, 1942, which is exactly 300 years after the death of Galileo. This made him think that he was destined to become an ast a, a cosmo cosmologist. Stephen Hawking's mother was a secretary, while his father studies medicine. He traveled to different parts of the world trying to finish his research, such, a, such as South Africa. Stephen Hawking had two little sisters, Mary, which is a year and a half younger than him, and Philippa, which is almost five years younger than him. At his school, Stephen always thought that physics was the most boring subject, while chemistry was the most fun because of all the experiments he did in class. But physics gave him the hope of understanding the origin of the universe, which is why he chose to major in it. Now, because both of his parents were Oxford students, it was only logical for him to apply there. In fact, he did and received a scholarship. But the first two years he spent there were rather lonely because he was younger than everyone else and most of the people in his class had already finished their military service. So he decided to join the boat club, where he met new people and created lots of new friendships. After he graduated from Oxford, his first symptoms started to show. He started to get clumsy and lose control over his body. The doctors at that time didn't give him much hope, but, Jane, but then he met Jane. Jane gave him something to live for. After he received a research fellowship at the University of Cambridge, this meant that he could finally afford getting married to Jane. Together, they got their first child called Robert, their sec second child called Lucy, and their third child called Tim, for Timothy. Stephen Hawking's condition got much worse, which made him spend more time at the hospital. Meanwhile, Jane met a guy called Jonathan at the church. Over time, their relationship grew stronger, and which made Stephen Hawking very unhappy about it and eventually caused both of them to get a divorce. Stephen Hawking then moved to a new apartment with a nurse called Elaine. Living together created a connection and caused them to get married. But Stephen Hawking's condition got much worse, which caused a lot of near-death situations where Elaine had to save his life. But those situations caused an emotional toll on Elaine, which made her leave him. The media highly contributed on shedding the light on his book and the scientific breakthroughs that he has done in his life. Every time Stephen Hawking sent a copy of his book to his publisher, his publisher would make Stephen write it again but simpler so that a non-scientist person would still understand. This was the reason why this book, A Brief History of Time, was the most successful book he ever created. Stephen Hawking once said, and I quote, that I believe that disabled people should concentrate on things that their handicap doesn't prevent them from doing and not regret those th they can do. In my case, I have managed to do most, th most things I wanted. In fact, Stephen Hawking did lots of things in his life. He was the Paralympic anchor in London in 2012. He visited China three times, Japan six times, and Russia seven times. He has been to every continent on Earth except Australia. He received a special honor from Queen Elizabeth II, and he met every and he met presidents of South Korea, United States, China, India, and Ireland. He has been on a submarine, and he has been on a hot air balloon, and he has also experienced a zero gravity flight. Stephen Hawking illustrates in his autobiography how his passion and the support he received from his family and friends helped him to endure the difficulties caused by incurable disease. Thank you very much for watching.